Hello and welcome. In this lecture, I want to talk about how you can display output to the screen. So here I have our example program that we started out with and our first challenge was to display output to the screen. And so after you look at this code, you probably noticed on line 13, which is our printf. This is the code that's actually displaying the output. And again, this is a basic concept of C that needs to be addressed very early on because you often need to display DAO output to the screen. So let's talk about displaying output to the screen using this printf function. Displaying output. So again, I just remember mentioned this. You should have noticed that printf line in our example program. Our first challenge, it's included the word printf. And you probably thought to yourself, what does this mean? What does this do? Well, now I want to explain it. It's basically displays output to the screen. It's a standard library function. And what are standard library functions? We talked about this quite a bit, but it's a function that comes with the C programming language that you can utilize to display output. You would not want to write your own code to display output to users because it's a very common thing that you do in your program. So you would not want to have to write that every time. So what you do is you use that include directives. You include the standard library header, which defines that printf function, which allows you to display output to the screen. Printf specifically is going to output a screen information to the command line. Command line is also referred to as the console or the terminal. But by default, it's actually displaying the information to the standard output stream, which is the command line by default. That's why you see it there. So you will see it when we run our program and we saw that little black box, the do's commands prompt the command line. That's where we saw our output because that's where printf is directing it. We are saying display this output on the console. The information displayed is based on what appears between the parentheses of the function itself in the double quotes. So everything inside those double quotes is going to display. Now, the printf function itself can get much more complicated using format specifier, which we are going to discuss later. But basic information is you just print out words and text. And anything in between those double quotes is going to be displayed to the output. The other important thing to notice here, and I mentioned in a previous lecture, is its uh, statement. So it's going to end in a semicolon. The semicolon tells the compiler we are done. We are printing this information. Now we are completed printing that information. So the function itself, it's a probably the one of the most common use functions in C because you often need to display output. It will be the function that we use most, most in this class because you can use it for many, many things now. So far in our example, first program, we just displayed some text, some output to the screen, but it's very easy. It's very convenient to also display program result. Besides just text inside quotes, you can also display values of variables and the results of computations. So what this means is it can be used for debugging, can be used as a technique to display values of variables in your program while it's running. You can also use it to see where you are in your code as you are executing. And this is one of the reasons I wanted to uh, cover so early because we are going to use it as a debugging technique. So we can see what's going on in our program as it's running. And we are going to use it to display just regular words and results of program. So it's very, very useful to understand how to display output to the console using this printf function. Again, the basic way to use is just include everything in the double quotes, but we'll provide many examples of this. I just wanted to tell you uh, this printf, this is what it's doing. 